Terus a room will cost uh, segini, including breakfast. Other facilities, the hotel also has a spa. Jadi hotelnya itu punya spa dan punya rooftop. Jadi rooftop apa gitu ya, berarti sesuatu. Mungkin misalnya kayak, apa yang biasa di rooftop ya? Mungkin gym atau swimming pool gitu kan. Tapi tidak boleh swimming pool ya. Berarti kalau misalnya ada swimming pool, berarti poolnya doang diambil misalnya. Terus there are free shuttle service too. Jadi ada free shuttle service. Jadi berarti free shuttle itu kan berarti biasanya itu kalau free shuttle itu mungkin kemana? Mungkin ke city center atau ke bandara atau hal-hal seperti itu. Itu yang biasanya. Location ada will be street. Jadi will be street dia quite near the. Berarti uh, dia jalan di jalan will be street dan dia itu dekat dengan apa? Jadi you have to notice it. Terus selanjutnya kalian juga tuh dengerin near to restoran and many. Jadi dia dekat dengan restoran dan banyak apa? Kayak gitu. Mungkin banyak shopping centers atau hal lainnya. Oke semuanya. Uh, selanjutnya kita akan mencoba mengerjakan nomor 1 sampai nomor 10 setelah kalian kerjakan nanti kita juga akan bahas uh, mungkin kalau yang udah mampu menjawab you can study tapi kalau misalnya kalian merasa kayak waduh soalnya sulit nih gitu kayak kalian agak kesulitan untuk menjawab atau kesulitan memahami apa yang disampaikan ini seproses ya jadi emang proses pembelajaran IELTS itu uh, perlu waktu ya jadi kayak kalian nggak bisa juga kayak uh, bisa mengerti mereka dengan cepat juga tapi it's okay let's go kita mulai dari uh, dari yang pertama bentar saya harus pulangnya dulu karena di lupa sensornya. Oke kita mulai ya. IELTS 14. Tests 1 to 4. Published by Cambridge University Press and Uckles 2019. This recording is copyright. Test 3. You will hear a number of different recordings and you will have to answer questions on what you hear. There will be time for you to read the instructions and questions. Sudah jelas ya? Questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions one to five. Hello, Flanders Conference Hotel. Oh, hi. I wanted to ask about conference facilities at the hotel. Have I come through to the right person? Mm -hmm, you have. I'm the customer services manager. My name's Angela. So, how can I help you? Well, I'm calling from Barrett and Stanson's. We're a medical company based in Perth. Oh, yes? And we're organising a conference for our clients to be held in Sydney. It'll be held over two days and we're expecting about 50 or 60 people. When were you thinking of having it? Sometime early next year, like the end of January. It'd have to be a weekend. Ah, uh, let me see. Our conference facilities are already booked for the weekend beginning January the 28th. We could do the first weekend in February. How about January the 21st? Ah, uh, oh, I'm afraid that's booked too. Well, let's go for the February date then. So, that's the weekend beginning the 4th. Okay. Now, can you tell me a bit about what conference facilities you have? Sure. So, for talks and presentations, we have the Tesla room. Sorry? Tesla. That's spelled T-E-S-L-A. It holds up to 100 people and it's fully equipped with a projector and so on. How about a microphone? 
Yes, that'll be all set up ready for you. And there'll be one that members of the audience can use too, for questions if necessary. Fine. And we'll also need some sort of open area where people can sit and have a cup of coffee. And we'd like to have an exhibition of our products and services there as well. So that'll need to be quite a big space. Mm-hmm. That's fine. There's a central atrium with all those facilities. And you can come before the conference starts if you want to set everything up. Great. And I presume there's Wi-Fi? <laughs> oh, yes. That's free and available throughout the hotel. OK. Would you also like us to provide a buffet lunch? We can do a two-course meal with a number of different options. What sort of price are we looking at for that? Well, I can send you a copy of the standard menu. That's $45 per person. Or you can have the special for $25 more. I think the standard should be OK, but yes, send me the menu. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 6 to 10. Now listen and answer questions 6 to 10. Now, we're also going to need accommodation on the Saturday night for some of the participants. I'm not sure how many, but probably about 25. So what do you charge for a room? Well, for conference attendees, we have a 25% reduction. So we can offer you rooms at $135. Normally, a standard room's $180. And does that include breakfast? Sure. And, of course, guests can also make use of all the other facilities at the hotel. So we've got a spa where you can get massages and facials and so on. And there's a pool up on the roof for the use of guests. Oh, great. Now, what about transport links? The hotel's downtown, isn't it? Yes. It's about 12 kilometres from the airport, but there's a complimentary shuttle bus for guests, and it's only about 10 minutes' walk from the central railway station. OK. Now, I don't know Sydney very well. Can you just give me an idea of the location of the hotel? Ah, uh, well, it's downtown on Wilby Street. Uh, that's quite a small street, and it's not very far from the sea. And, of course, if the conference attendees want to go out on their Saturday evening, there's a huge choice of places to eat. Then, if they want to make a night of it, they can go on to one of the clubs in the area. There are a great many to choose from. OK. So, if we go ahead with this, can you give me some information about how much we're looking at? That is the end of section one. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Okay, thank you. Sudah selesai ya uh, listeningnya. Ada yang merasa bisa benar semua nggak? Wah, gue sudah sering ngerjain gitu kan, jadi bisa di benar semua gitu. Ada yang nggak yang ngerasa benar banyak gitu ngerjainnya? atau atau ada yang ngerasa kayak waduh sulit juga ya gitu atau ada yang nggak nangkep sama sekali gitu kayak dari nomor satu sampai nomor sepuluh tuh nggak bisa jawab gitu ada nggak tenang saya yakin ada kok <laughs> saya yakin ada di antara kalian yang belum bisa menjawab satu jadi apalagi yang first time gitu kan kayak bingung banget gitu kan kayak gitu Oke, kita akan mulai bahas dari nomor satu. Jadi nanti uh, dari nomor satu, jadi kalian kita bisa cek ulang ya. Kita mulai dari nomor satu.
because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions one to five. Hello, Flanders Conference Hotel. Oh, hi. I wanted to ask about conference facilities at the hotel. Have I come through to the right person? Mm -hmm, you have. I'm the customer services manager. My name's Angela. So, how can I help you? Well, I'm calling from Barrett and Stanson's. We're a medical company based in Perth. Oh, yes. And we're organising a conference for our clients to be held in Sydney. It'll be held over two days and we're expecting about 50 or 60 people. When were you thinking of having it? Sometime early next year, like the end of January. It'd have to be a weekend. Ah, uh, let me see. Our conference facilities are already booked for the weekend beginning January the 28th. We could do the first weekend in February. How about January the 21st? Ah, uh, oh, I'm afraid that's booked too. Well, let's go for the February date then. So, that's the weekend beginning the 4th. Okay. Now, can you tell me a bit about... Okay, I don't know that. ...what conference facilities you have? Sure. So, for talks and presentations, we have the Tesla room. Sorry? Tesla, that's spelled T-E-S-L-A. It holds up to a hundred people. And okay, namanya? Tesla. 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 Silakan diketik ya jawabannya. Oke, okay, korek. Jadi jawabannya adalah Tesla. Jadi ini nama ini dan banyak tuh sampai 25 orang yang mengetik. Uh, just remember, jadi nama pertama kalian itu T-nya harus huruf besar ya. Jadi Tesla, T-nya harus huruf besar. Oke, okay, kita mulai ke pindah ke nomor 2. Jadi nomor 2 itu area for KP. Aduh, sorry, projector dan apa ya? Jadi alat, alat apa? And it's fully equipped with a projector and so on. How about a microphone? Yes, that'll be all set up ready for you. And there'll be one that members of the audience can use too, for questions if necessary. Fine. Okay, jawabannya nomor dua adalah... Microphone. Okay, correct ya. Jadi jawabannya tuh nomor dua adalah mikrofon. Uh, ketika kalian menulis mikrofon, uh, kalau misalnya kalian menulisnya menggunakan huruf uh, combination antara huruf besar sama huruf kecil, berarti uh, semuanya harus huruf kecil ya. Kecu uh, atau kalian boleh juga menggunakan semuanya huruf besar, boleh huruf kapital boleh semua. Uh, jadi dia harus huruf kecil ya, jadi mikrofon huruf kecil. Oke, okay. lanjut ke nomor tiga. Area for cafe and 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 we'll also need some sort of open area where people can sit and have a cup of coffee. And we'd like to have an exhibition of our products and services there as well. So that'll need to be quite a big space. Mhm, mm that's fine. There's a central atrium with all those facilities, and you can come before the conference starts if you want to set everything up. Great. Okay. Area for coffee and an apa? Ada atrium, ada exhibition. Ya, yang benar itu exhibition. Ya, bukan atriumnya. Jadi, yang benar itu exhibition. Jadi kan area for coffee, for coffee and for an exhibition. 
Jadi jawabannya tuh exhibition. Udah pintar-pintar nih, udah banyak yang bisa menjawab nomor 1 sampai nomor 3. Kita pindah ke nomor 4, apa yang berat like to have an exhibition of our products and services there as well so that'll need to be quite a big space mm -hmm. that's fine there's a central atrium with all those facilities and you can come before the conference starts if you want to set everything up great and I presume there's Wi-Fi? Oh, yes. That's free and available throughout the hotel. Okay. Would you also like us to provide a buffet lunch? We can... Okay. Number four, jawabannya. Apa yang gratis? Ini kesukaan kalian nih. Ya, correct. Jadi jawabannya itu Wi-Fi. Jadi Wi-Fi-nya gratis, ya? Oke, okay, udah berat kalau pada bisa jawab. Nomor lima, perhatikan harga. Set everything up. Great. And I presume there's Wi-Fi? Oh, yes. That's free and available throughout the hotel. Okay. Would you also like us to provide a buffet lunch? We can do a two-course meal with a number of different options. What sort of price are we looking at for that? Well, I can send you a copy of the standard menu. That's $45 per person. Or you can have the special for $25 more. I think... Okay. Standard buffet, harganya berapa? Ya, jawabannya bener banget, yaitu $45. Kalian nggak perlu taruh dolarnya lagi ya, jadi cukup $45-nya aja, itu udah cukup. Oke. Okay. Uh, kita pindah ke nomor 6. Uh, rooms will cost jadi berapa harga kamar the standard should be okay but yes send me the menu before you hear the rest of the conversation you have some time to look at questions 6 to 10 okay Now listen and answer questions 6 to 10. Now we're also going to need accommodation on the Saturday night for some of the participants. I'm not sure how many, but probably about 25. So what do you charge for a room? Well, for conference attendees, we have a 25% reduction. So we can offer you rooms at $135. Normally, a standard room's $180. And does that include breakfast? Sure. And, of course, guests can also make use of all the other facilities at the... Okay. Jawabannya, rooms will cost... Ya, benar. Jadi, jawabannya 135 ya. Uh, ini udah diskon. Jadi, ini udah harga diskon. Siapa yang penyuka diskon? <laughs> Ini uh, dia ada diskon, jadi uh, ada diskon untuk yang uh, menjadi peserta conference. Oke, okay, kita lihat other facilities, ada rooftop apa di sana. Gitu. We can offer you rooms at $135. Normally, a standard rooms $180. And does that include breakfast? Sure. And of course, guests can also make use of all the other facilities at the hotel. So we've got a spa where you can get massages and facials and so on. And there's a pool up on the roof for the use of guests. Oh, great. Okay. Now Jawabannya adalah, ya benar, jawabannya adalah group of pool. Berarti, ya, Seratus dolar, seratus tujuh puluh lima dolar, berarti seratus satu koma tiga juta ya. Mahal sih, wajar lah fasilitasnya bagus ya kan. <laughs> Kalau di Indonesia kan dapat hotel bintang lima tuh kan. Bahkan bisa uh, bintang lima plus plus gitu. Kalau harga satu koma tiga juta per malam. 
<laughs> Oke, okay, uh, there is a free shuttle service to kemana? Uh, what about transport links? The hotel's downtown, isn't it? Yes. It's about 12 kilometers from the airport, but there's a complimentary shuttle bus for guests. And it's only about 10 minutes walk from the central railway station. Okay. Now, I don't know Sydney very well. Can you just... Okay. Jadi, jawabannya itu adalah ke airport bandara, ya. Ke airport. Kalau nulis airport, itu sebenarnya nggak perlu pakai hanya huruf besar, karena airportnya. Jadi, ada perbedaan ya kalau nulis airport sama... Ada nama nama tetap ada namanya misalnya itu kayak Soekarno Hatta Airport. Airportnya itu dia ikut besar seperti nama uh, nama bandaranya gitu. Tapi kalau misalnya cuma bilang bandara doang tanpa ini ya kalian bisa uh, dia tidak akan uh, ini ya benar kalau mau aman kalian bisa menulis suruh besar. Tapi airportnya bukan double P ya Kartika. <laughs> Because you write it like double P. Oke, okay. lanjut kita pindah ke nomor 9 sama 10. Give me an idea of the location of the hotel. Ah, uh, well, it's downtown on Wilby Street. Uh, that's quite a small street and it's not very far from the sea. And of... Berarti dia quite near the... Ya, kuat ini di sea. Berarti dia dekat dengan laut, ya. Hmm. Dia dekat dengan pantai. Jadi, it is good. Sydney pantai, berarti ya. Oke, lanjut ke near to restaurant and many. Of course, if the conference attendees want to go out on their Saturday evening, there's a huge choice of places to eat. Then, if they want to make a night of it, they can go on to one of the clubs in the area. There are a great many to choose from. Okay. And there are many clubs. Correct. Oke, okay, jago banyak yang kemampuan listening udah bagus nih. Jadi, oke okay, kita pindah ke nomor berikutnya, yaitu nomor... Oke. Okay. Jadi di sini, uh, jadi di sini, um, yang pertama itu kalian akan diminta untuk memilih gitu, untuk memilih dari pilihan A sampai E, di mana ada dua, ada dua pilihan jawaban yang benar. Uh, which two facilities that volunteers do a mention? Jadi uh, volunteer yang bisa dilakukan dan disebut a decorating berarti mendekorasi, ada cleaning gitu kan, ada delivering meals, ada shopping and child care. Jadi ada lima pilihannya. Ini dua ya. Jadi uh, jadi nomor sebelas sama dua belas tuh kayak satu soal kayak bergabung gitu. Jadi nanti bebas kalian mau taruh jawabannya tuh. Dia nggak harus urut ABC-nya. Oke, lanjut uh, nomor 13 sama nomor 14. Which two ways that volunteers can benefit from volunteering a mention? Jadi bagi ada dua cara gitu. Volunteers itu bisa bisa di, bisa mendapatkan manfaat dari ikut volunteer. Yang pertama, learning how to be part of a team. Jadi mereka bisa belajar menjadi bagian dari tim. Having a sense of purpose. Uh, realizing how lucky they are, improve, improve ability at time management, at time management, ada seberapa beruntung, gitu kan? ada self tujuan juga kan, boosting their employment prospect. Jadi uh, ini juga bisa meningkatkan uh, kesempatan kerja mereka. What has each of the following volunteers have someone to do? Jadi di sini itu ada beberapa nama volunteer ya. Kayaknya ini ada nama Habib. Wow, Indonesia banget ya namanya. Ada Habib, ada Pansla, Min, Tanya, Alexei, sama Juba. Ini kayaknya gue harus kecilin dulu nih. Ya. Nah. 
Jadi nanti itu satu-satu ya. Jadi mereka satu-satu. Terus yang pertama itu apa yang mereka bisa bantu? Yang pertama overcome physical difficulties. Jadi kayak membantu mengatasi uh, kesulitan fisiknya ya. Rediscover skill not used for a long time. Jadi ada skill yang tidak diasah untuk waktu yang lama. Improve their communication skill. Jadi memperbaiki uh, skill komunikasi mereka. Terus solve problem independently, jadi menyelesaikan masalah secara independen. Ada escape isolation, berarti kayak uh, meninggalkan isolasi gitu kan ya. Remember past time, berarti melupakan masa lalu sama saat new hobby. Berarti kayak memulai hobi baru lah ya, berarti memulai hobi baru. Oke, okay, uh, jadi ada tujuh pilihan, jadi hati-hati kalau misalnya jawaban kalian tertukar, Ya kalau ketukar itu akan menimbulkan a big problems ya. Karena kalau satu ketukar ya bisa bisa berakibat salah lebih dari satu gitu. Itu emang tantangannya soal kayak gini ya. Kayak karena bisa jadi jawaban yang satu dengan nilai itu ada hubungan-hubungannya. Jadi uh, dia akan bisa bisa berhubungan kayak gitu. Oke. Okay. Kita uh, oke, okay, kita mulai mengerjakan berikutnya. Silakan perhatikan uh, ininya, dibaca dulu, dilihat dulu soal nomor 11, 12, 13, 14. Ini pilihan ganda. Pilihan ganda di IELTS itu cenderung lebih sulit ya jadinya. Section 2. Walaupun bisa nebak tapi You will hear ya. a woman talking to a group of college students about volunteering to help other people. First, you have some time to look at questions 11 to 14. Now listen carefully and answer questions 11 to 14. Good morning. My name's Lucy Crittenden, and I'm the Director of Operations for an organisation that arranges volunteering in this part of the country. I'm hoping I can persuade one or two of you to become volunteers yourselves. Let me start by briefly explaining what we mean by volunteering. Volunteers are teenagers and adults who choose to spend some time unpaid helping other people in some way. Most volunteers devote two or three hours to this every week, while a few do much more. The people they help may have physical or behavioural difficulties, for example. Volunteers can do all sorts of things, depending on their own abilities and interests. If they're supporting a family that's struggling, for example, they may be able to give them tips on cooking or recommend how to plan their budget or how to shop sensibly on their income. They might even do some painting or wallpapering, perhaps alongside any members of the family who are able to do it. Or even do some babysitting so that parents can go out for a while. The benefit from volunteering isn't only for the people being helped. Volunteers also gain from it. They're using their skills to cope with somebody's mental or physical ill health. And volunteering may be a valuable element of their CV when they're applying for jobs. Employers usually look favourably on someone who's given up time to help others. Significantly, most volunteers feel that what they're doing gives them a purpose in their lives. And in my opinion, they're lucky in that respect, as many people don't have that feeling. Before you hear the rest of the talk, you have some time to look at questions 15 to 20.
Now listen and answer questions 15 to 20. Now I'd like to tell you what some of our volunteers have said about what they do to give you an idea of the range of ways in which they can help people. Habib supports an elderly lady who's beginning to show signs of dementia. Once a week they, along with other elderly people, go to the local community centre where a group of people come in and sing. The songs take the listeners back to their youth and for a little while they can forget the difficulties that they face now. Our volunteer Consuela is an amazing woman. She has difficulty walking herself, but she doesn't let that stop her. She helps a couple of people with similar difficulties who had almost stopped walking altogether. By using herself as an example, Consuela encourages them to walk more and more. Min visits a young man who lives alone and can't leave his home on his own, so he hardly ever saw anyone. But together they go out to the cinema or to see friends the young man hadn't been able to visit for a long time. Tanya visits an elderly woman once a week. When the woman found out that Tanya is a professional dressmaker, she got interested. Tanya showed her some soft toys she'd made and the woman decided to try it herself. And now she really enjoys it and spends hours making toys. They're not perhaps up to Tanya's standard yet, but she gains a lot of pleasure from doing it. Alexi is a volunteer with a family that faces a number of difficulties. By calmly talking over possible solutions with family members, he's helping them to realise that they aren't helpless and that they can do something themselves to improve their situation. This has been great for their self-esteem. And the last volunteer I'll mention, though there are plenty more, is Juba. She volunteers with a teenage girl with learning difficulties who wasn't very good at talking to other people. Juba's worked very patiently with her and now the girl is far better at expressing herself and at understanding other people. OK, I hope that's given you an idea of what volunteering is all about. Now I'd like to talk to you about... That is the end of section two. You now have half a minute to check. Okay, saatnya kita bahas di dalam soal IELTS itu seharusnya uh, mostly ya ada terjadi peningkatan kesulitan dari dari part satu dari eh, nomor satu dari part satu itu eh, part satu kan nomor satu section satu gitu nomor satu sampai nomor sepuluh. 11 ke 20, 21 ke 30, 31 ke 40. Itu sebenarnya ada peningkatan kesulitan, tapi juga tergantung orangnya juga sih. Terkadang ada yang lebih nyaman dengan ada yang lebih nyaman dengan pilihan ganda, misalnya so they will prefer pertanyaan-pertanyaan kayak gini. Oke, okay, kita mulai. Uh, kita mulai bahas nomor 11 sampai nomor 11, 12, 13, 14. Let's do. Section 2. You will hear a woman talking to a group of college students about volunteering to help other people. First, you have some time to look at questions 11 to 14. Now listen carefully and answer questions 11 to 14. Good morning. My name's Lucy Crittenden and I'm the Director of Operations for an organisation that arranges volunteering in this part of the country. I'm hoping I can persuade one or two of you to become volunteers yourselves. Let me start by briefly explaining what we mean by volunteering. Volunteers are teenagers and adults who choose to spend some time unpaid helping other people in some way. Most volunteers devote two or three hours to this every week, 
while a few do much more. The people they help may have physical or behavioural difficulties, for example. Volunteers can do all sorts of things, depending on their own abilities and interests. If they're supporting a family that's struggling, for example, they may be able to give them tips on cooking or recommend how to plan their budget or how to shop sensibly on their income. They might even do some painting or wallpapering, perhaps alongside any members of the family who are able to do it. Or even do some babysitting, okay. so the parents can go out for a while. Sudah ada satu jawaban yang muncul. They might even do some painting or wall covering. Berarti jawabannya? Painting and wall covering. Berarti jawabannya? Salah satu yang sudah muncul. Sebelas. A, ya benar ya. Jadi A yaitu decorating. Jadi they might even do some painting or wall papering, perhaps alongside any member of the family who are able to do it. Jadi mereka tuh melakukan decorating. Okay, let's go. We move to another question. The benefit from volunteering isn't only for the people being helped. Bentar. Volunt perhaps alongside any members of the family who are able to do it. Or even do some babysitting so that parents can go out for a while. Okay, selain itu ada babysitting, berarti jawabannya? Kalau babysitting itu A. Ya, jawabannya A sama E ya, child car, bukan B. <laughs> okay. Selanjutnya, kita pindah ke benefits of volunteering. Let's go. The benefit from volunteering isn't only for the people being helped. Volunteers also gain from it. They're using their skills to cope with somebody's mental or physical ill health. And volunteering may be a valuable element of their CV when they're applying for jobs. Okay. Jadi, uh... CV when they are applying for jobs berarti itu lebih ke E ya E jadi uh, itu bisa diingetin boosting their employment per prospect kalau kalian lihat kalau soal-soalnya berbentuk pilihan ganda atau sebenarnya jadi ininya juga uh, pilihnya juga jadi emang jawabannya tuh adalah kayak Uh, boost, uh, mereka selalu menggunakan synonyms. That's why pengetahuan vocabulary atau punya wide range of vocabulary itu itu sangat diperlukan. Itu sangat penting banget kalau misalnya kalau misalnya teman-teman itu belajar IELTS atau belajar TOEFL juga. Jadi kalian harus vocabnya harus kuat ya, kayak gitu. Oke, okay, lanjut. Employers usually look favorably on someone who's given up time to help others. Significantly, most volunteers feel that what they're doing gives them a purpose in their lives. And in my opinion... Oke, okay, jawabannya itu purpose in life, gitu ya. Berarti having a sense of purpose. Correct. Itu jawabannya, tapi... Oke, okay, uh, kita pindah ke soal berikutnya. Oke, kita mulai dari soal nomor 15 dari Habib. Opinion, they're lucky in that respect, as many people don't have that feeling. Before you hear the rest of the talk, you have some time to look at questions 15 to 20. Now listen and answer questions 15 to 20. Now I'd like to tell you what some of our volunteers have said about what they do 
to give you an idea of the range of ways in which they can help people. Habib supports an elderly lady who's beginning to show signs of dementia. Once a week, they, along with other elderly people, go to the local community centre where a group of people come in and sing. The songs take the listeners back to their youth and for a little while, they can forget the difficulties that they face now. Okay, jawabannya. Kayak, the song take the listener back to the youth. Jadi, mendengerin musik ya, tapi itu mengingatkan mereka pada what's in the past. Berarti, yes, correct. Jadi, jawabannya adalah remember past time. Jadi, remember, mengingat masa-masa mereka masih muda. Ya, kalau kalian kalau masih muda, berarti bukan mengingat masa kecil ya. Oke, lanjut ke nomor 16. Kansela. Our volunteer Consuela is an amazing woman. She has difficulty walking herself, but she doesn't let that stop her. She helps a couple of people with similar difficulties who had almost stopped walking altogether. By using herself as an example, Consuela encourages them to walk more and more. Oke, okay, jadi jawabannya. Consuela. Ya, benar A. Jadi mereka tuh overcome physical difficulties. Jadi uh, Consuela ini dia juga punya masalah ya, punya keterbatasan, tapi dia menggunakan keterbatasan itu untuk mengencourage orang lain, untuk mereka itu bersemangat juga, gitu. So it is good. Oke, lanjut ke nomor 17. Min visits a young man who lives alone and can't leave his home on his own, so he hardly ever saw anyone. But together they go out to the cinema or to see friends the young man hadn't been able to visit for a long time. Oke. Okay. Jadi jawabannya ini apa? Ya diam di rumah gitu-gitu ya. Berarti ya benar escape isolation ya. Jadi mereka meninggalkan. Jadi mereka pergi ke sana dan sebagainya itu bisa menunjukkan escape isolation. Oke kita pindah ke nomor selanjutnya. Nomor 11. Tanya visits an elderly woman once a week. When the woman found out that Tanya is a professional dressmaker, she got interested. Tanya showed her some soft toys she'd made, and the woman decided to try it herself. And now she really enjoys it and spends hours making toys. They're not perhaps up to Tanya's standard yet, but she gains a lot of pleasure from doing it. Okay, ini jawabannya. Making toys, gitu-gitu. Yes, G, bener banget. Jadi, start a new hobby. Jadi, mereka memulai hobi baru ya. Oke, lanjut Alex, Alexei. Alexei is a volunteer with a family that faces a number of difficulties. By calmly talking over possible solutions with family members, he's helping them to realize that they aren't helpless and that they can do something themselves to improve their situation. This has been great for their self-esteem. Oke, okay. jawabannya, tanya itu gimana? Jadi tanya itu, ya, dia, they can do something themselves to improve their situation, dan sebagainya. Berarti, track, kita sepakat ya, jawabannya itu adalah, Uh, so problem independently. Oke okay, terakhir Juba. Hmm, Juba, what happened with Juba? Oke, okay, let's see Juba. And the last volunteer I'll mention, hmm. though there are plenty more, is Juba. She volunteers with a teenage girl with learning difficulties who wasn't very good at talking to other people. Juba's worked very patiently with her, hmm. and now the girl is far better at expressing herself and at understanding other people. Okay, I hope... Yeah, the last volunteer is Juba. Yeah, oke okay, bener. Kalian uh, kayaknya udah ketemu jawabannya di awal ya. Itu correct jawabannya C. 
Oke, okay, uh, some of you, ini saya udah bagus ya, udah bisa menjawab banyak pertanyaan. Tapi buat kalian yang belum bisa menjawab, tapi still stay here, itu udah keren banget. Uh, saya harap teman-teman itu, apa namanya, teman-teman itu bisa terus semangat belajar. Ya, dan semoga kalian tuh bisa uh, mencapai mimpi kalian ya. What about you wish? Oke okay, semuanya, kalau gitu, uh, thank you for today. Thank you for your coming uh, to this class. Uh, ya, keren banget buat yang benar-benar dapat nilai tinggi ya. See you in the next meeting. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Sering-sering kerjain, sering-sering belajar ya. Semangat. Terima kasih, Kak. Terima kasih, Kak. Terima kasih, Kak. Terima kasih, Kak. Selamat Thank malam. Thank you, Kak. Thank you. Thank you, Kak. Selamat malam. Selamat malam.